Um, I'm going to show you the supplies I'm using for my calcifer wig. So, let's do this. Start off with, you're going to want some pins. This is for pinning your wig to your wig head. And then the second thing you're going to want is a brush for your wefts and for like a layer. I'm using this because it's got a rat tail for separating the layers. And then you're also going to want some bobby pins. A lot of bobby pins. You're going to want your wefts. I've already cut mine up because I forgot to film it. Thread in the color of what's inside your wig. Um, you're gonna want a needle, obviously. I'm using a straight one. A lot of people say the best one is um, the curved ones, but I don't know where all mine went. You're also gonna want some alcohol pads. Couple, couple of band-aids. You know, screw it. Why not all of the band-aids? Obviously, you're gonna want your wig head and your wig. I've already started. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do it. So, I'll explain that in the next clip. Um, you're also gonna want either sweet movie such as the Lord of the Rings or some bomb music. Another thing you're gonna want, I don't know where they went, um, is scissors. So if I, if I remember anything else or I come across needing something else, I'll let you guys know. So, let's get down to the description of the wig. You're going to want a band-aid on your index finger because you're going to be pushing a needle through a lot and it can really wear down on your finger. You can also put one on your thumb if you want, but I only put it on my finger, so yeah. For the wig, I have it strapped on so it doesn't move around. I've pulled up a section of the red and then I pinned it in place. Now as I sew, I'll take the pin out for that small little section and then I will put it back. There's, there's a pink pin there, I don't know if you can see that. in here. Um, and then I'll put it back and then I'll keep sewing and then I'll move it on. I'm sewing it to the one below it. I'm doing it so it goes um, like this. So when I have it spiked it won't show the lace. It'll be kind of like my hair starts there because otherwise it looks like this. So it's going to be pretty fun. I'm going to add a lot of Layers. I'm not doing it for every single layer though. I'm gonna do like one layer, then down two layers, down another two layers kind of thing. The bottom layer I'm actually gonna leave against my neck, just barely covering the um, edge thing. So, this is gonna be fun. I have the hair slicked down and then I bobby pin them 
and clip them in place so they didn't come up as I'm trying to sew this on. So, yeah. And now I'll get into the video. I think I might do this in like two parts or something. The putting the wefts in and then I'm going to make a separate video for styling it. So, yeah. Well, let's get ready to start. It's my little, my little cave. This, this is where you guys are. You are in the Pringles can. <laughs> We're just stacked on top of boxes. My, this is my setup. So, let's get into it. Ever since the first time I opened my eyes I've awakened to the same thing Other automaton friends roughly built like me The first time I opened my mouth to speak A steam escaped to the air And black oil dripped from my lips and onto the ground what daylight struck a chord with my photoreceptors Night greeted me with the sea of stars Our eyes will flash a blues and greens through the night It's just our atomitonic electronic Rise us up with the rest Our thoughts are quixotic, stark and robotic Mechanical in nature all the time And pulses are firing in our head wiring Guiding all our actions and being It's just our Just our So 
the first little piece of weft and I've combed the entire thing out. I sectioned this off because it's super duper long. Um, I redid the bun. So now I'm going to. It's gonna fall over. Yep. Take another weft. Very carefully. Pull up, pull up the rest of them. Okay. I'm going to. <coughs> if I can get the wig to stay up, I'm going to take the wig. Grab a pin, pin it a little bit over with the previous one. And then I'm going to measure how much left I need, and then I'm going to cut it. And you cut it. Oh, it's so big focuses. And cut it between the hairs. Very, very carefully. So probably gonna cut it. Right about there, so let's do it. I decided to get up and walk around and make food, and I'm also gonna make some coffee. Uh, I also just mostly got up because I needed to put disc two in of my um, Lord of the Rings movie. So that's what we're doing. Yay. Let's do this. Let's make some coffee. It's also from dinner. <laughs> yeah. Coffee in my ammo ears. Happy Easter cup because I love bunnies. You know, it's pink. Still love bunnies. This is actually the darkest I've ever had in my coffee. I can't, I can't do bitter things and I can't do really sweet things, so that's to be like a perfect balance, but I need the caffeine. Ugh. Also, my dinner's heated up, and yes, I eat ketchup on my cooked carrots. Don't judge me. Alright, let's get back to it. My cat decided he wanted attention, so I couldn't eat. And I can't work on my wig until he's satisfied. Okay, he's satisfied. My cat. Make a more common suitcase. Yup. I'm gonna drink some coffee and then we'll continue on with the wig. Um, I'll record the next part of me sectioning off the next part that I want. I won't film me sewing the other side, so, yeah, let's do it. I combed it out, and I put more pins in one spot around that whole section, even, even in the front here. And I combed this out really, really well, and then... As you can see, I trimmed it. I'm going to keep these because I can make more wefts out of this. 
So, yeah, that's where, that's where I'm at. That's that. Um, so, let's, let's get moving on. So now I'm going to section the wig, and I'll try to bring you along. I won't film all of it, I'll just give you the gist, because otherwise this video will be super duper long. Probably do this in two parts, and then do the, um, styling video in another one. So yeah, let's do this. So, there's a couple sections. There's the first one, and then there's, whoops, the second one. I don't know if I'll do the second or the third, so we'll have to see. Well, it looks like I'm on the third. Right. I'm gonna take a bobbing pin. Bobbin, bobbing, whatever. I'm just gonna pin it to the ponytail. And then you have this like little lace part right here. Just bring your brush along it, bring it up, grab just a little bit more, comb it, pull it forward, bob and pin. Just get the last little bit. Now we just grab all of that, take the bobbing pins out, make sure we've got a firm grip on it. And pull the ponytail out. Do any singles you find. Comb it. Okay, now before you put the ponytail in, you need to pin it. So I'm gonna pin it really quickly. Which you just you just take a pin, grab the uh, little stitching, pull it down, and that holds the rest of this part in place. So I'm gonna pin it really quick. All been pinned. That's what it looks like about every inch or so. I never use the color of the base hair. Don't like using the color of the accent hair either, but 
I have a limited number of pins. So now, we have to put the hair tie in, but I don't know where it went. Hair tie. I gotta find the hair tie. Found the hair tie. Okay. So, you might have lost a little bit of hair. So just quickly gather it all again. And this is what I do. Put it in a, like a little tiny bun. I don't care. And make sure the hair bends really tight and then I take any excess and bobby pin it down. Take these sections and bobby pin them. And clip it if I can. So it ends up looking something like this. And if you have something like this happening, you can take a bobby pin. Do the hole. That thing. <laughs> so, do it a couple times if you have to. So, If you need to, you can always comb it out down here. And then obviously you bobby pin this part like I showed you. So, yeah. I'll see you in the second part of this video. So.